Hello everybody! This video is about rolling back to Windows 7 or 8 after updating your system to Windows 10. Many users who decided to upgrade to Windows 10 worry about their chances to go back to the previous operating system if they dislike Windows 10. What if they have to reinstall the Windows 7 or 8 again? In fact, there is nothing to worry about. It is quite possible, because files of the previous version of Windows are automatically saved to the folder windows.old in your system disk when updating the system to Windows 10. However, you should remember that this folder will be automatically deleted in 10 days after the update. So if you made a clean installation of Windows, this method will not work. So this is what you do to roll back from Windows 10 to the previous version of the operating system. Go to the settings in the Start menu. Go to Update and Security, where you can find several sections, including Recovery. Select it. You will see several settings, and we will be interested in one of them. Go back to Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, depending on what operating system you had before. Click Start. After a brief preparation, the system will ask you why you want to go back. This information will be sent to Microsoft. Choose any of the suggested variants and click Next. The next window asks if you want to check updates. Click No thanks. The next window will inform you that some system settings changed after you upgraded to Windows 10 will not be saved if you go back to the previous operating system. You will also see a recommendation to create a backup copy of your data in case any problems arise. Please take note that the programs installed after your upgrade to Windows 10 will not be saved when you go back to Windows 7 or 8. They will be deleted. Next. Here comes another window informing you that you should remember your account password. Next. At the final stage, when Microsoft thanks you for trying out Windows 10, click on Go back to Windows 7. The rollback process is automatic and it will take some time. After a brief preparation, your computer or laptop will restart, and you will see a window telling you about restoring the previous version of Windows. You will only have to wait a few minutes, and Windows 7 will be back after another restart. Please take note that when you roll back your system to the previous version, Windows 7 in our case, its activation will not be restored, so be prepared to activate it again. This method to restore the previous version of Windows works during 10 days after updating to Windows 10. When the 10-day period is over, the previous version of the operating system, in our case Windows 7, can be restored only with a system image, which you should create before updating to Windows 10 or after a clean installation. Watch our previous videos to learn how to update Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free and how to make a quick installation of Windows 7. If you lost some files as a result of installing, reinstalling, updating or resetting Windows, you can bring them back with Hetman Partition Recovery. There is a special video in our channel to show you how. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. If you have any questions, leave a comment to ask one. Thank you for watching and good luck!